Hello everyone, how are you? How are you doing? How are you feeling? Now this is a story about how my life got turned upside down when somebody done walked in on us. So this story goes back to my 22nd birthday back in 2015. And you already know who I was with at that time. We named him in our past story times, Peter. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling fresh, I'm feeling fine. I'm feeling 22. Ooh, ooh. And we go to Charcoal Steakhouse. If you don't know, Charcoal Steakhouse is one of the more upscale restaurants here in our area in Kitchener Waterloo and Peter finally put his big boy pants on and took me there for my birthday I probably asked for it but nonetheless so we went there and I had my little steak dinner or whatever and we were having a great old time it was a very romantic dinner it set the spark and it was my birthday so I'm feeling special I'm feeling good you already know now my this time, I was living with my biological father, but I was basically living by myself because he was always out working and whatnot. Who knows what he was doing? But that's not the point of the story. After a lovely dinner out from a birthday, steak little dinner with a little surprise dessert at the end, blow up my little candle, and we go on about our merry way to my place. First birthday me and Peter would have celebrated together was our 18th birthday, and our birthdays were a day apart, so... This was a pretty big deal that we were celebrating my 22nd birthday together. It was kind of like probably a celebration for both of us, but mostly me because it was on the day of my birthday. Another reason why this was such a special birthday is because this was the first time that Peter and I went a long period of time and did not break up in one calendar year thus far because my birthday is in September, but... Up until then, we were together all year long and no breakups. So I was like, oh my god, this is for real. It's forever. Now you already know this ain't hit. But at the time, you know, a girl is feeling special. She's feeling in love. She's feeling like she's on cloud nine. Like this, my man, we gonna live together. I know I live by myself, but with my dad, but by myself right now. And one day, we gonna live together and we gonna be together forever. And that will be my best 22nd birthday present. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22 with my boo. All right, so yes, we go on about our day and we go back to my place. I don't remember what the plans were uh, when we went back to my place, but all I know is that we got down and freaky with it. I lived in a little townhouse. We went upstairs to my bedroom and we got it on and popping. At this point, we were like exploring with different things in the bedroom, you know, getting all comfortable. This has been like the fourth or fifth, I lost count. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 4th birthday we were spending together, so we were pretty comfortable, we were pretty good, and this time we were trying out a new condom. I honestly don't remember what effects it had other than the fact that it was pitch black, like it was matte black in its entirety. So when you put it on, it's like, oh wow, there it is. So it was like, ooh, something new, so exciting. You know when you're like young 20s or late teens and you're just like, biggest horn dog, like you're so funny. Yeah, that was us at the very moment. So I'm climbing this man, I'm jumping, I'm bumping, and lo and behold, we hear. We stopped dead in our tracks. Everything went by so fast. My life flashed before my eyes, but I remember registering that it was the front door downstairs right away. We looked at each other and I was like, uh, like I was probably like mid screen, like, ah, uh, oh, hmm. We like froze for a few seconds to be for sure, for sure that we weren't like imagining or hearing things. And then we heard the footsteps. I literally grab him, throw him off my bed. Imagine this is my bed. This is my bedroom door right here, and there's a little space right here. I throw this boy right over there, and he's fully naked, nothing but a black condom on. No time to think. I throw the covers on top of myself, and I'm just sitting there, and I'm like, just, just act like we're talking or something. And then this boy has the nerve to ask me, do I take it off or do I keep it on? I'm like, shut the f*** up and just, like, talk to me. It was intense. Emotions are high. We're freaking out. He's not starting a conversation with me. We had to jump into act and this boy is not doing it. It's making it even more obvious. And then we hear the footsteps up the stairs. I'm still just sitting there on my bed with my covers, acting chill, like, hello, play the part. And this boy, you know what this boy does? You know what this funky ass, stanky ass, stupid boy does? Remember, this is my bed. I'm in here. My door's over here. He's over here, sitting on the floor. I look at him as the steps are getting closer and closer up the stairs. And this is what he does. He 
make it look like a freaking moose caught in the headlights. I burst out laughing. I'm like, whatever. The laughter will make it less suspicious. But either way, <laughs> my biological father gets to the top of the stairs. And by the way, my door's not closed. Like I said, I basically live by myself. My biological father was never home. But this man is literally at the top of the stairs, peeks into my bedroom from there knowing that I wasn't alone because he probably saw my boy my boyfriend at the time's shoes like hello get the hint he looks at me I look at him we make eye contact Peter and I are both like hi or something I don't even know if we said hi or if we just stayed quiet looking at him but we just make this interaction and immediately this man knew exactly what was happening and he went downstairs <laughs> how embarrassing are you not embarrassed are you not ashamed of yourself are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. He left. He probably was not probably. I know what ended up happening later. He was mad and told me that he wanted to bring me home a cake and wanted to spend my birthday with me. Didn't tell me, like, whatever. It was quite the buzzkill. It was quite embarrassing. Uh, I think it's the only time that that has ever happened to me where I kind of, like, got walked in. At least that I know of. If you've ever, if you're watching this and you've ever walked in on me doing the do, let me know. Because this is the only time I know of. But that was sure something. And I still cannot get over Peter's reaction. Like, this boy didn't know how to act. I'm like, just play it cool. But, of course, it's my father, biologically. And he's a guy in my room. Like, you know, that, that can be scary for boys. But it's not like he didn't know him. He wasn't a random. We have been on and off for how many years? He just didn't know how to play it cool. But that was that. What was done was done. No, we did not get back into it because, ill. Like, I feel gross now. I've been walked in on. All my business is out on the streets now. I got no privacy. I should have shut the door, but then maybe we wouldn't have heard the door opening downstairs and then we would have really, really got caught in, in the middle of it. But still, it was, ooh, it was so weird. It was so awkward. Ugh. Still to this day, I'm like, I struggle to talk about intimacies with uh, older adults because of this and just because in general, I'm like, I don't know. I say all this stuff on the internet and I talk about it with my family and friends that I'm really, really comfortable with. And I'm an open book, as you know, but just certain things like this, like intimacies, I'm like, oh my god, no, you are not from my generation or younger, so you won't get it. That was the story about the time that we got walked in on by my biological father. Ooh. I hope you enjoyed the story time video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already because it's free. And I will see you guys next time.